Cosmos season with tons and tons of airdrops is just around the corner and you definitely do not want to miss this. My name is Kian and you're watching The Decentralized Lifestyle. This is going to be an extremely fast paced tutorial on how to buy and stake Atom, Juno, Osmosis and Secret Network in order to benefit from all of the airdrops that are coming to the Cosmos ecosystem. I do another video explaining more about these airdrops but this is more of a hands-on tutorial. All along, I definitely recommend it as you probably will miss out on $10,000 plus of airdrops if you don't do this type of tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is install the Kepler wallet on Chrome or Brave browser. You need the Kepler wallet in order to interact with the different dApps as well as staking. So I'll show you how to, how to do that on the Brave browser. You can actually do that on Chrome and Brave. It's rather straightforward. You just go to Kepler.app, click on install Kepler for Chrome, click on add and then add extension. As soon as you've got it in your Brave browser, just click on the extensions tab and then pin it and then click here and you'll have to sign in. So you can just like create a new account. If you haven't already created a new account, you're going to have to back up your mnemonic phrase and make sure that you do not lose this because if you lose this you won't have access to your account anymore so i'm just quickly taking a picture so that i've got this this account won't be used so it doesn't really matter so i'm just gonna name this click on the correct words for the mnemonic phrase so that they know that you saved it correctly Click on register when you've done that and you're all set. The next step is buying 1000 USDT worth of Atom tokens. That's probably an amount that you need in order to buy all of the other tokens that you need to stake. So I recommend buying on Binance, but you can actually also find all the other possibilities of where you can actually buy these tokens by going to coingecko.com and looking at the different markets where you can actually buy some Atom tokens. But we'll continue with Binance for this video. So let me go to Binance. When you're on Binance, logged in, go to trade. You can actually go to advance. I feel like this is the easiest way to do it. And I'm just gonna buy a few tokens so that you can see how you can actually buy the tokens on Binance. So the first thing that you wanna do is you actually look for um, Atom usdt you can also buy atom using usdc by um, typing usdc and you'll find that but i'm actually going to do and buy some atom using usdt now on the right hand side you can see you can actually buy so in price i can type in the price that i'd like to buy some atom i'm willing to pay for this atom so i'm just going to type in 25 dot 43. I'm going to type in the amount of Atom I'd like to buy, or I can actually type in the amount of USDT that I'd like to use. So I'd like to use UN, um, 50 USDT, so I just click on buy Atom. And as you can see here, there's this little dot. That's where my order is placed. Um, since I'm doing a limit order, it's not going to be fulfilled right away. If you want to actually have this order fulfilled right away, then I recommend doing a market order. So I'll do a market order just to show you how that works i'll delete this order by clicking on the bin click here on market market buy so you can just type in the amount of atom you'd like to buy so let's say you want to buy two atom then just click on buy atom in order to um, buy this atom at the market price which would be 25 and 41. perfect as soon as you've bought these atom tokens you go to wallet fiat and spot then you actually search for atom I don't have any Atom in my wallet now because I've already withdrawn it. But what you do is you click on withdraw. Here you can actually paste in your Kepler wallet address. So I go back to my Brave browser. So I go back to my Brave browser and I click on this AK logo. I copy this address. I go back to Binance. I paste this address. This is the memo. Sometimes you have to include it. Sending to Kepler, you don't need to include it. So just click on confirm then you type in the max amount of atom you want to withdraw click on withdraw go through all of the security steps that you have to do and it will probably take a few minutes to send this atom to your kepler wallet so when you've done that and you've received your atom in your kepler wallet you will see your total balance in the kepler wallet cosmos hub 
And now we will actually go for the next step, which is actually um, buying 10 Juno, 10 Secret Network and 30 Osmo. So I'll show you the steps. I won't be buying all of these amounts because I've already done that, but I'll show you all of the steps so that you know what you're going to have to do. So let's start with buying Osmosis. So what you want to do is you go to the app osmosis dot zone slash assets i'll link it down below this is where you're going to have to bridge add some tokens to the osmosis chain so here under assets you look for atom and you click on deposit and i'm going to actually deposit free atom click on deposit this will bridge your atom tokens to the osmosis chain on the Osmosis chain, you're going to be able to buy Osmosis tokens, Juno tokens, and the secret network tokens. All right, so we just bridged our Atom. You'll see it under balance. Now you probably have way more Atom on the Osmosis chain as you have to buy way more assets as I'm doing in this demonstration. So keep in mind, you're going to have to buy 10 Juno, 10 secret network, and 30 Osmos and you stake this amount and you have to have at the end of these transactions, five atom in your wallet. You're gonna to have to stake a minimum of five atom. I also keep a small amount for gas fees. All right, on Osmosis, what you wanna do is click on a trade. Let's buy some Osmosis tokens first. So I'm just gonna buy one. Um, you're gonna to have to have 30 at least. So that would be around 10, atom tokens in order to buy um, 30 osmo tokens but we are just going to buy one so i'll just type in one click on swap and then click on approve in kepler now i'm going to buy some juno we need 10 juno tokens so that would be 10 atom um, or actually more price went up a bit so it's 12 atom for 10 Juno tokens. And I'm just gonna buy one. So click on swap. And the last is secret network. Type in SCRT. And then here it's also 10. So one atom is 4.5 secret network. So here you're probably just gonna have to um, use 2.2 2.5 atom for 11 secret network tokens. I'm just gonna buy um, 0.5 atom worth of secret network, which is 2.25, and then just click on swap, approve. Perfect. Now that we've bought everything that we uh, wanted to buy, we're gonna start by staking the osmosis tokens. But let's click on assets, and then here you will see all of the tokens that you've got. So I've still got 1.34 Atom. I've got 2.24 Secret Network. I've got 0.8 um, Juno. And I've also got three Osmo tokens. So let's start by staking these Osmo tokens as that's the easiest part. So just click here on stake and you can actually select one of these validators. The recommendation, do not go with a centralized exchange and do not go with a validator that does not charge any commissions because sometimes airdrops are not distributed to those validators. So I'll just go with Figment, I'll click on Manage, click on Delegate, and then I'll click on Max. This will delegate the max amount of Osmo I have in my wallet. Keep in mind, the funds will be locked for 14 days plus. I won't be able to withdraw them. Just click on delegate, click on approve, and that's it. That was for the osmosis staking. Now for the other ones, it's a little bit different. You're gonna first have to bridge those assets out of the osmosis chain. So secret network, click on withdraw, click on max, and then click on withdraw again. This will bridge your assets from the osmosis chain to Cosmos then close this we'll do that with juna as well um, click on withdraw click uh, click on withdraw click on max and then click on withdraw again approve perfect with that out of the way click on stake again and then we'll first stake um, secret network look for secret network click on that click on stake and then here you can also select one of these that you'd like to um, stake towards. I'm just gonna go with secret nodes, click on manage, click on delegate, 
and then click on max click on delegate again here the funds will be locked for 21 plus days keep that in mind but that's fine since we just want airdrops click on delegate and then approve in the wallet then we want to actually um stake juno we go down here below and look for juno here it is click on stake i'm actually going to go with sg1 five percent commission click on manage click on delegate click on max delegate again and then approve last but not least don't forget the last step and that is staking some atom tokens what you want to do is actually go to the cosmos hub click on stake and then here you actually want to stake some atom tokens um, you don't want to go with binance staking um, we might actually go with sg1 again click on manage click on delegate click on max or actually don't click on max because you, do, you, you still want some for gas fees you just type in a certain amount it has to be higher than five click on delegate and approve by the way last but not least here's a fantastic spreadsheet with all of the cosmos airdrops with the description the dates eligibility what kind of tokens you have to have at stake with some other information like news the link will be in the description below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.